Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a man who is coming off a TKO victory at Upstate Fight Night 2. Greg, uh, appreciate the time. It was uh, when I was talking to your manager about this and and, uh, because the fight wasn't on your topology. And I'm like, hey, you know, who'd he beat? You know, where where did the fight take place? I'm like, oh, that was Weston Wilson's show because I actually talked to Weston last week. And I remember the thing that popped in my mind was Weston talked about, he's like, hey, we've added some pro fights to the card. Oh, and the bonus for these pro fights is they get a win here. They're on the next XMA card. Like, so obviously uh, XMA's got a show this week, but you already know where your next fight's going to be. I mean, did, did you know about that incentive heading into this matchup? Um, kind of. They, they posted something um, on Facebook that said, I didn't know it was like certain a win gets me there, but they posted uh, – like that people are going to be signed from this show. So I, I didn't know if that meant all the winners or just like one or two people of the whole card or what. Um, but I knew it was a possibility. And, and of course, by the way, as we're doing this, it's your birthday. So happy birthday. I mean, how, how are we, are, are we celebrating the birthday by, uh, you know, going in and punching some of your friends in the face? Um, I'm not today. Actually. I, uh, I haven't taken like a little vacation in a while. So, this today is my birthday. My girlfriend's birthday is this Friday. So we're actually driving to Maine right now. And actually we, we just got to Maine like an hour ago. Um, and we're going on a little camping trip until this weekend. Is camping uh, been something the outdoor life kind of been that, that thing you've always kind of leaned on to, uh, you know, get your mind off the fight game. Um, not really. I'm not big on camping. Um, my girlfriend's more of the camper than me, but, uh, I do like the outdoors. I like, Like, I love Colorado, the Colorado vibe. And uh, right now we're going to Acadia, Maine, which is kind of like, online it looks like it's kind of like Colorado vibes on the East Coast. And, you know, of course, uh, part of the narrative going into this fight was it's the first time you had stepped inside competition in pretty much a year. Like, so how do you describe the last 12 months? Man, it's, it's been kind of frustrating, like, the last three years up until this fight, I fought three times in three years. And that was the most inactive that I've been since I was an amateur. Um, now granted like 18 months of it was kind of, I feel like COVID happened and, and that slowed things down. And I did have like an injury in there, two injuries actually. Um, but I, I definitely like last year I thought I would be more active. Um, and then this year I, I was trying to get a fight, um, in April and then it didn't really work out. And then I was waiting and, and I hit up uh, two promotions in June and both of them kind of fell through. So this one popped up short notice, but I was already in shape. I was already on weight. So we're like, um, and the matchup was good. So we're like, let's, let's do it. You know, two weeks, I I got this one. What's the, what's the pros and cons of taking a fight on two weeks notice? Uh, the pro is not as much to think about. Um, you know, you just show up and pretty much in two weeks, you're not going to like learn anything new, um, to really do for the fight. It's kind of, you're, you're relying on what you already do well, like pretty much my, my a game, um, that I already do well is kind of what I was like banking on for this fight. Um, so the negative is, is the preparation, you know, you, you don't uh, like, I kind of, I like being a little bit analytical and and checking all the boxes and making sure I've drilled everything and making sure I'm in shape. Um, And, you know, fight shape is is different than just regular, you know, fitness in shape, in in my opinion. So, um, you know, I was thinking about that, but I'm like, you know what? I I do strength and conditioning a couple times every week for like two years straight now. So I thought I thought I would be in shape Um, less to think about since it was short notice. So. You know, we like this one. This one, I was like, two weeks, we, we got this one. It, it makes me think about something you said there. Are you, like, if you have that typical, you know, six, eight week, you know, time frame to get ready for a fight, do you find yourself that you overanalyze the fight? For sure. Yes. I'm like, it, that's that's definitely a negative. It's like, I, I almost, like, yeah, I overanalyze and I probably do too much. And a lot of time, those long camps, Eight weeks is good. I like eight weeks, but I've had my first couple of flies, even amateur, I did 12 week camps and I feel like with them, it's like, I get hurt, I get sick. 
um, you know, it, it, they kind of, it's, it's, I feel like that's too much. I, six to eight weeks is like ideal. I feel like, um, yeah, long camps, long camps, injuries and sickness is, I feel like always common with long camps, too much volume. Obviously you didn't have a ton of time to kind of think about this matchup, but you know, one of the, the terms I think about of in, in a competition is expectations versus how it ultimately went down in terms of how you thought the fight would go down to how it went down. Were, were they in line with each other or were there some differences? Uh, I, y- yes, it was pretty much in line. I, I honestly thought I was going to finish him sooner and I'm, I mean, I've told my girlfriend, my coaches, like people close to me, I'm a little, it, it's going to drive me nuts a little bit. I'm, I'm a little sour. Cause I had like this choke wrapped up in the first round and, uh, he tucked his chin, but, um, like there's still like a face choke or a face crank that you can get there that like kind of like, um, Habib did to Connor. It's that's still a submission. And I had that locked up and I think my alignment was a little bit off. His head was tilted to the left a little bit and we weren't like all the way on the mat. Like he was, he was kind of up on one knee. Um, so something, something was just off a little bit. And uh, I wanted, I want to fix that. Cause I thought, you know, that would have saved me 10 more minutes almost. Cause I didn't get the finish <laughs> till round three. Like, man, that like the other thing is two week notice, a first round finish, just like that would have been badass if I would have got a first round finish on short notice. So uh, I'm a little bit sour about that. But I, regardless, I expected, you know, I expected to win. Yeah, I saw the highlight video you put on your Instagram, and you know, because your manager said, yeah, you know, you won by TKO, and then I watched this highlight video. I'm like, I mean, is a submission coming? Because it looked like the way you had it locked in. I mean, but is it is it one of those things of like as you go back and you evaluate it, it's just like that. God damn man, an inch here, inch left, inch right, and it's over. Yes, for sure. It was like small, small adjustments. And I feel like definitely like small adjustments. I feel like I win that position. And, uh, you know, I I already know what I'm working on next week. Um, when I get home from this trip, like I'm, I'm working on that position for sure. Just, you know, even if I don't hit it in another fight, it's going to drive me nuts. Just knowing that I, that I had it that close. Um, but on paper, I feel like a TKO kind of looks better because I, I already have a couple submissions. Um, but that, you know, a first round finish, I think, would have just been the most badass on, on such short time. So, uh, you know, you can bet that I'm going to like work on that position. Like As you're camping this weekend, is that going to be the thing that's going to be on your mind? Uh, I mean, the drive up here was like 12 hours, so... I have definitely thought about it like a handful of times already. Um, once, once I get outside and we're hiking around and stuff, I I'm sure like I'll forget about it, but yeah, that, that like video on my Instagram, every time I see that, I'm going to be like, damn it. Like it, it was right there. That's awesome. Uh, in terms of obviously it's a short notice. I mean, is your, are you trying to find another short notice fight just to, to stay active? I, I have honestly contemplated, um, something in September. Um, I, I got to talk to my coach though. Cause, uh, I want to see, you know, I'm going to kind of go off his judgment and, mm-hmm. and see what he thinks. Um, cause XMA is October. Uh, that would be nice. So my first, or I'm sorry, my last three fights steadily have been less notice. I fought Jimmy flick two years ago, you know, in, in, in prime COVID time. And I had a four week notice then last July, this is the third July actually that I fought. Mm-hmm. Last July, I signed the contract to fight Ricky Camp July eighth, and I fought him on the thirtieth. So like within the same month. And now this one was two weeks. So every one I got a little less notice. So preferably, you know, I would like more notice for this mm-hmm. next one. Um, but it it, it kind of depends. I was asking the XMMA people. Um, they didn't tell me. I don't know if they have the, the date yet for October or the venue, but I was thinking if it's at the end of October, then maybe I could get something at like the beginning of September or even like middle September train all of August and, and the first week or two of September for one. And then train the next six weeks, you know, for, for XMA in October. But if it's at the beginning of October, I might just wait till then. 
And again, I want, I want to talk to my coach, just see what he thinks. Yeah. Cause I, I could, if, if I get X MMA in October, there's still potential to maybe turn around and fight in November or even December, um, before the year ends. My goal is, my goal is three. The last, I fought three times in three years. I want to fight three times this year. That's like my goal. I, I got one down. I know that in October I'll have two down. So either before that or after that, I want to get that third one out of the way. And we look forward to seeing uh, those fights take place here. Greg, man, I appreciate time. Of course, uh, let me know they can find you on social media. And of course, those sponsors that have been helping you out, man. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, uh, uh, check me out on Instagram at G Fisher three. Um, I'm definitely trying to up my social media presence. Uh, so yeah, follow me on there. And then I, yeah, I got a couple sponsors. I want to thank, um, I want to thank Bartenfelder sanitation, your motive auto in Forest Hill, Maryland, state line canine dog training flood solutions, um, is like damage, damage restoration, main street cigar, Baltimore pizza company eats and sweets, Christie hates Spartan cigar company, old line barbers for keeping me fresh on fight week. Um, and just year round. Just the tip, 704 Barbecue, TSW Roofing, Sheath Underwear. Um, they have, like, some of the best clothes that that I like training in and wearing, you know, just around. Compex USA and So Right, both for keeping me healthy um, with, like, re- recovery tools and recovery modalities. And then Mad Rabbit, um, just for some, some cream for my tattoos and stuff. So shout out to all those sponsors.